Here is what you missed this morning on the Catholic Morning Show. Right now, let's go to our Dowling Catholic High School Student Athlete of the Week, the highlight of the week, and we have with us Annalise Grant. Annalise, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm not doing as good as you are because <sighs> you just won a sub-state game last night mm-hmm. for Sioux City East, so it's hard for me to be as excited about my life as you right now. Oh, yeah. We're pumped. We're ready to play on Tuesday. So, like, what what ended up being the score? How close was it? Give us just a Um, a glimpse of what was going on. Not too close. Um, The first sets. That's a very humble way of saying you did a good job. (laughs) Well, 25, uh, I want to say, like, 15, 25, 14, that range, all three sets. It was a clean sweep. So, yeah, I mean... We're ready. That's perfect. And so you are an, an Iowa State uh, commit to volleyball. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's pretty cool. We're in the presence of greatness. Amen. <laughs> I, We're I, in the right room, my No friend. one's ever asked me to commit to anything. <laughs> I guess my wife. So, but, you know, no, no state institution. So that's pretty yeah, cool. I'm um, so excited. So uh, with, uh, I, with, with volleyball, what position do you play? I'm a DS libero, so I'm in the back. I'm the one with the different color jersey. Oh, wow. Yeah. So among the special, you're even more special. <laughs> You'd say that. That's pretty cool. So when do you play next? We play Tuesday against Iowa City West at the Dowling Gym. So oh, perfect. It's a home game. will take us to say if we win. You need people out there to keep yeah. supporting you guys. Yeah. So, Amy, I, I've gabbed a lot. Like, uh, you, you have a question ready to go? I just, I'm curious as to when you started playing. How yeah. long have you been doing this? Oh, since I was, I want to say, nine years old. Um, I jumped into club. I was a nine-year-old playing with a 12-year-old. So, girl. Yeah, I mean, I had an older sister who played all her life, too. So I was, she was a good role model to look up to. Um, but, yeah, pretty young. And then I played, you know, high level pretty young, too. So, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Good for you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Have Not you done many- radio before? You're so comfortable. What? Have you done radio before? Oh, no. You're so comfortable. But I was, I was just telling him out there, this is kind of my gig. I love to, like, love talk. And, <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> As you can notice, I, I was not asked to do any volleyball stuff, but people did notice me talking from an early age. So if you get oh, pegged yeah. as a talker, just, right. just thrown out there, you know, radio, making commentary, <laughs> things like this. Now, look, as a, as a DCH unit out at Dowling, we have an entire sheet of things that you actually filled out. Do you even remember filling this sheet out? Uh, I do. Vaguely? Okay, yeah. good, good. So um, <laughs> well, let's go with the first one. Uh, what was your, your, your favorite memory or achievement so far uh, out there at Dowling? Oh, I especially last year state championship, the five set match in Iowa City. I was just saying um, how that kind of that loss kind of brought us fire this season. So, um, but yeah, very special season, very special, very special game. And then uh, what with being special at Dowling? So what's what? How's your faith impacted your success in competition mm-hmm. or the classroom? And what's special about Dowling uh, that you would love to tell the listeners? Um, I feel like, you know. There's mass twice a day. There's reconciliation. There's adoration whenever you want to go slip in between classes. Um, uh, You know, going to school is like, it's so refreshing when you have that. Um, I kind of, I think I mentioned it's kind of like a grounding system Mm -hmm. for me. Um, So just always having that as an opportunity at Dowling is so special to me. Um, And I love to go see Father Akerier. You know, I have great relationships with teachers. And um, so just keeping that faith aspect is super special and you know every before every home game we go up to the chapel and we pray as a team and um it's just always that grounding um remember why you're playing kind of thing so yeah super special for me um i love playing well, Dowling, yeah so okay you, your home parish is sacred heart so i got a quiz mm-hmm. for you are you yes. ready okay did you know that the pope literally just wrote an encyclical about the sacred heart oh what it was like it came out yesterday Oh, my gosh. So I think you've got some reading to do is what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, speaking of which, uh, Annalise, tell us some of the people that have inspired you and along the way. Okay. Are you talking like my family or at Dowling or? Either one. I mean. Okay. Um, In this who, radio yeah. room, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> no. You. Who, who, <laughs> yes. Um, How about in your faith life? Who's my faith you life? Your faith life? Um, my family is something that is super special to me. I'm the middle of five children and I'm super close with my parents. Um, and so me and my dad especially have a very strong connection with their faith. Um, and they've raised all of us in, you know, a Catholic school all of our lives. So just like having a very, um, faith driven family is very important to me. They've helped me. Um, and then, like I said, a lot of the teachers at Dowling, um, even my coach, Mary Beth Wiskus, she, you know, always incorporates something, prayer, um, a little Thanksgiving, you know, just 
little droplets here and there. Just, you know, like I said, remember why we play, remember why we're here. Um, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of Dowling, uh, staff as well. too. Very good. So, yeah. uh, Again, I know now in my 43-year-old form, I don't look like an athlete. I have to convince you kids <laughs> that I played high school ball. I so, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a convert, and I always tell people that one of the things that prepped me, I think, for conversion is my dad uh, was a, an Oki who didn't go to college, but he sort of did Aristotle and Thomas because he always talked about virtues and habits, and he really talked about it in the language of sports. Do you see that, like, with, with the sort of long obedience that you have to decide to do as an athlete, that I'm going to give up some things. I'm going to bring other things to the forefront of my life. I'm going to get in the habit of being excellent. Do you see how that maps on to your life of faith? Yes. I think, you know, having that passion to, you know, give to a sport, it's very similar to your faith life. I want to get better each day in my faith life. I want to get better each day in my sport. And they kind of bounce off each other. Honestly, you know, bringing your faith into your sports is super important. Um, and like I said, very grounding, it's always, you know, just a reset button for me, especially when I play or, you know, just being thankful for the so many opportunities I've gotten, especially as a fourth year, um, senior at Dowling. So, yeah. Now, have you, uh, have you ran into St. Paul talking? I mean, he's, his metaphor for the faith life is an athlete. Have you got to read this in the Bible or am I giving you a Bible assignment on air? Oh, you're giving me the assignment. I'll okay. take it. You got to go find St. Paul. <laughs> Talking about being an athlete, he talks about running the race, mm-hmm. or he actually talks about boxing, which I always find interesting. But he, the, the other thing where he sort of makes a, a, a competition um, interpretation is he goes, the only competition we need to get in is to outdo each other in charity, outdo each other in love. Mm-hmm. Now, you mentioned your sister. Have you beat her yet in volleyball? Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, here's a bigger one. Have you, out, have you outdone your sister in being charitable? To other people. Ooh. Ah. Gosh. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great question. You said you're a talker, and I finally made you not able to. Mm. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, like, so I hope that people yeah. take your example, and, and athletes like you at Dowling, who work so hard that, you know, the, the friendliness of competition, there can be, you know, diehard, and we hear of some people who can make sports sound very awful, but when Dowling folks come in and talk this way, I'm so impressed about how you guys see that virtue, that habit, that trying, like you said, to be excellent and letting that transmit into your uh, faith life. So it's Mm -hmm. wonderful to hear that from you. And thank you for being such a good interview. Thank you. This is the first time that I've ever had to do this. And uh, I got to say, you knocked it out of the park. So thank you. You know, you're just winning competition after competition. And and Annalise, continue to use the gifts that God gave Mm -hmm. you. You're doing a great job of that. And your appreciation of him and incorporating that into your craft Mm -hmm. is a great thing. So congratulations. Thank you. So yeah. one more time, make sure to tell the audience when you're playing next so that you, we can pack the house for you guys. Okay. 7 p.m. Tuesday. I want to say that's uh, November. Or wait, no, October. <laughs> yeah, October. Okay. Uh, well, maybe it is. Is it November 1st? All I know is it's next Tuesday, 7 next p.m., Tuesday. Dowling okay. Home Gym. That's fair. Um, it'll be the game to take us to state, so... Be there. Be there. All right. Well, we want to appreciate this <laughs> very out. much. Iowa Catholic Radio, uh, we do this every week where we have a monthly spotlight on a member of the Dowling Catholic High School community that is a witness to the very best, best of faith, academics, and student activities. It's sponsored by Brightside Aesthetics uh, by Ducharme Dermatology in Clive, offering a whole range of aesthetic and wellness services and providing customized care to have you looking your best. Learn more at brightsideiowa.com. And we want to congratulate you, Annalise uh, Grant, uh, I want to make sure you get your last name right, for being recognized witness to the very best of faith, academics, and student activities. Annalise, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. So, uh, Amy, um, I am now inspired and uh, also feel kind of lame i i only went to state once in a sport and i rode the bench really what sport uh basketball our foot i've started football as you can tell as a a bigger lad actually funny enough i was really skinny back then uh but we were not good (laughs) well you rode a bench that i never rode because i never got to participate in sports like that very small school i was in a class of uh, I believe the graduating number might have been 19, and there were three foreign exchange students in that class. See, we had a graduating <laughs> class of 22. We played eight-man football. See, I don't like adding these details because I was I was all county defensive yeah. end, and everyone assumes like I was big back then, but mm-hmm. I graduated 145, and we played against very small, slow people. Wait, uh, but for small, slow people, Amy, I was pretty good. 
God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to find the right pond, yeah. Amy, and you can look you, good. You just hadn't hit your, your mark yet with the, the craft that God gave you, and that is the gift of, of gab. Of gab, thank you. And you don't need as many calories, but I still eat like I'm an athlete. But you know what? <laughs> I want to say once more time, uh, if you guys didn't get a chance to listen to Annalise Grant, like if you're just tuning in, make sure to go back to the Iowa Catholic Radio podcast. You will want to hear her inspiring uh, conversation with us. And like one more t- she said one more time, they just won their sub-state game against Sioux City East last night. So that means when they play next week, they're going to be playing for another shot to return back to the state championship. So make sure to uh, go give them a support and go Dowling Catholic. Go Maroons. Listen to the Catholic Morning Show weekday mornings at 7 on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network, iowacatholicradio.com, or the Iowa Catholic Radio app.